Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Recipes, the brand new video series where I'll explain recipes for Warhammer models in 3 minutes or less. The idea behind this series is that I'm going to explain to you in 3 minutes or less a recipe to paint a certain part of a model. So you don't have to watch a big long video on painting a whole model just to find that one snippet of information you need. You can just watch a video for a certain part and get the information you need really quickly. So a lot of you asked how I did the skin for my Uthak Black Orc Mini that Games Workshop kindly sent me, and it gave me an idea to start the series of recipe videos for things that need a bit more explanation than a short or a reel, but not a full length YouTube video. So here we are with 3 Minute Recipes. Before I get to it, let me know in the comments if there are any recipes that you would like me to cover in 3 minutes or less. I'm going to show you this recipe for the skin on a Auroch here from Age of Sigmar, but it'll work great on Aurochs, on Orcs, Goblins, Grots from all the Warhammer universes and beyond. We're going to start with the model primed in black and we're going to use airbrush here to get our first base coat down which is Vallejo Game Air Red Terracotta and we're going to work with the transparency of these colours to leave some of the shadows darker than the main highlight areas. We're going to follow that up by reinforcing those shadow areas with AK Interactive Night Purple Ink and we want to spray this from the sides and underneath to hit those areas like the armpits, the undersides of the arms, the obliques and as well as like the, the sides and under the chin of the face. Next we're going to get our green tone which is Vallejo Model Air Pale Green and we're going to focus on the highlight areas and try to carefully avoid the recesses. So we're going to hit the face from the top down angle, the raised areas of the muscles like the bicep, the shoulders, the chest, the abs and it hit all those highlight areas. We've got some really nice colours on the model now but we want to reinforce those highlights so we're going to take the pale green and a regular brush and just highlight the raised areas of the face and any veins on the skin as well as the fingers or, or any other prominent raised areas. Lastly we're going to take some Volupus pink and we're going to water it around about one to one with water and use that sparingly in areas like inside the mouth, around the eyes and we can also use it as a glaze to glaze into the shadows underneath things like veins or in particular recesses in the muscles that might have hit a bit hard with the pale green through the airbrush. And there we are, there's our Grimdark Orc skin. I hope you liked the video guys. If you did, please let me know in the comments below if, that you liked it, like this format, um, if there's any recipes you'd like me to cover. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. Thanks very much, see you next time, bye.